What's happening everyone, and Apple has officially released the iOS 12.3.1 for all of the compatible devices including the iPads, and as you know I make separate videos for the iPad, so let's begin with this right now. <laughs> So just like you can see, the size of this one is actually 400 megabytes for such a useless update. I mean, spoiler alert, this is probably not a very useful update, but let me get to the point so you can see that the size is 400 megabytes. But now let me show you the storage before and after the update. So you can see this iPad, the Mini 4, is actually running 12.3 at this screenshot or on this picture. So you can see that we have 1.55 gigabytes available. I mean, it's pretty okay, but if I swipe right here to the 12.3.1, you can see that we got 1.7 gigabytes. So there is about 200 megabytes that got released, or simply you can use 200 more megabytes after the update, and I would say this is the only benefit from updating. So what exactly does this update bring? Well, for the iPads is not something that you would probably use because it only has to do something with the messages and the messages don't work the way on the iPad. Of course, if you don't have the SIM card, you, you want to be able to make the classic SMS text messages. But basically what's fixed in this version is it's very simple thing and you are able to, to filter the unwanted senders from sending you stuff like using the text message. And in the iOS 12.3 or in the earlier versions, it could happen that you could even receive the message even though you have filtered it and said that you don't want to receive them, you still receive them. So I kinda guess that it's a great thing, but again, on the iPad it's not something that you would probably use. And the next thing, there are actually two fixes, and the second one is very similar to the first one. In case you have already received the text message that you didn't want, to and it is already in the junk section in your messages app then it could happen that you didn't even have the option to report it that could be or is normally supposed to be under that spam message and it could happen that in a 12.3 you simply didn't have it there this is all what has been fixed. Besides the storage increase, I don't see any reason why you would need to go ahead and update. I would say that if you don't really care about these updates and these changes, nothing would happen if you simply skipped the 12.3.1 and went from the 12.3 all the way to the 12.4 in case that's gonna be released or even to the iOS 13. Um, there is also one very Im interesting thing going on with this update and you already know from my previous videos. If you haven't seen that and if you don't want to miss the next videos, click on the subscribe button right now. But the interesting thing is that Apple usually publishes some security content and security fixes on their website in terms of a specific iOS update, but with this one we simply don't have anything. And So just like you can see right here on this picture, we simply don't have anything published in terms of the security fixes, but it has already happened that we got these security updates simply published later after releasing the update. For some reason Apple is having time with this, but that would be it for today's update. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you found this video useful and informative. For more content like this, make sure to smash the red subscribe button and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.